All right, welcome to The Lowdown, brought to you by Unibet. I'm Dev Sarni, and joining me today is a man who refers to himself as the dream, but on June the 11th, he will be looking to be a nightmare for British heavyweight Daniel Dubois. It's the WBA world heavyweight champion, Trevor Bryan. How are you, Trevor? Hey, let's go, champ. How you doing? It's the Trevor. It's the dream. What's going on? It's the dream. It's the dream. This, I'm, I'm good, Trevor. Um, first time we're, we're ever talking. Um, how are you? How's life? I'm doing well, man. Training camp is going great. I'm feeling strong, feeling ready to go. June 11th in Miami, we're going to bring the heat. You're going to bring the heat. Well, tell me this. Are you training for this, Trevor? Are you training for this fight as though it's the hardest fight of your career? Because that's how people are seeing this. I know you've been in there with Bermain Stavern. I know you've boxed BJ Flores, Jonathan Guido in your, in your last fight. But Daniel Dubois is the favorite heading into this fight. Are you treating it as such? Well, um, regardless for every single fight, I fight like every fight is my last fight. So I'm going to give my heart, my soul, and every, every inch, every bit of strength I have in this coming up fight, June 11th, because like I said, even with the heavyweights, this career doesn't last long. So every opportunity I do get with names like um, Danny the Boys or other fighters after this, you want to fight your hardest, show everybody that you have the heart and show everybody that your skills is going to carry you long. So yeah, I'm treating this like this is my last fight. Well, what do you think of Daniel Dubois? Because I, over here, the story with him really is he's been touted by many as the next big thing in the heavyweight division. And then he ran into Joe Joyce and had a bit of a setback there. But he's rebuilding at the moment and he's been sent up this route towards you. What do you think of Daniel Dubois? Um, I'm, listen, real talk, Daniel Dubois is a strong fighter. Um, he's forced some good guys and all that. But um, I'm on a different level. Um, you see that the first time he came against some opposition, he quit. I mean, he gave up. And I understand young in your career, regardless, especially being in the heavyweight division, you don't you don't give up. You don't quit. I'd rather go out on my shield before I quit. You understand what I'm saying? But um, he, he's the okay guy. I mean, but he, like like you said in the beginning of this this segment, he's going against the nightmare. I'm gonna be his nightmare for him because this is not the fight that he won. Maybe he should have went back and tried to defend. That fight, that loss he got against Joe Joyce before he came to the champion. But now that he said he wants the champion, he begged for this fight, he got the fight, now he has it. So now that he has it, he's going to have to pay for it because I'm not that type of fighter that you just step in the ring and think that you're going to walk over me. I'm not a heavyweight champion for no reason. And I'm going to show everybody June 11th that I'm, I am the name that you're supposed to respect. I am that man that's going to be sticking around a long time in this the sport, the sport. I'm going to take over. So, like I said, June 11th, you guys are going to see what Trevor Bryan, the dream, is about. Do you feel as though this is your breakout fight then, Trevor? Um, breakout fight? Well, you can say breakout fight to the UK because um, the boxing fans in America, they know Trevor Bryan. I mean, UK fans really don't know me as much. So this is like my overseas conquest of starting with one of these guys like this. So yes, this is a breakout fight for my UK fans that I'm going to build after this fight. You hold a version of the WBA World Heavyweight Championship. With that in mind, do you feel as though you get the respect that you deserve as a world champion from the boxing fans? Um, not, not yet, because um, which I should, because I had the interim, the WBA interim first. They said that was a trinket belt. Now I got the regular WBA regular title, which is the original belt. Mm -hmm. Now they're saying that's a trinket belt too, which is, that's the original belt of all the heavyweight champions that I had before. The super WBA belt is a formal new belt, but they hold that more accountable than the regular WBA belt. So, hey, they say what they say. I'm, I feel proud as a heavyweight champion of the world because my name is going to be etched in stone forever. You always got to mention my name, but I haven't come, come this far just to come this far. So I want to get that super WBA belt and I want to be known as one of the best in the sport that I did. Well, Daniel Dubois clearly has you in his sights. He's been targeting you, or at least his promoter has targeted this route uh, since that defeat to Joe Joyce. And he believes, Daniel Dubois, speaking to him the other week, he believes that he's going to come over to America and he is going to terrorise you. Uh, what, what do you make of comments like that? Yeah, he got to walk over this jab first. <laughs> 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 he 
And listen, he he can he can come over, he can terrorize all he want, but trust me, he's gonna be limping and licking his wounds when he go back to UK. What is it that you've seen in Daniel Dubois that fills you with so much confidence? Because I'm I'm listening to you now, and there there doesn't seem to be a shred of doubt. You've you've you you know you've said he's a powerful guy, but you've gone to the Joe Joyce fight and you've talked about what happened there. Do you get all of your confidence from that fight? No, um, I know guys like Joe. I know guys like Daniel Dubois. He's a front runner. He's a guy that if he's if he's coming for and he's hurting you with big shots. He's gonna keep front, he's gonna keep coming and he's gonna run over you. But as soon as he feels some pressure, he's gonna lay back down, man. And I'm gonna show you why he's gonna lay down. That's why I said this is not the this is technically not the fight for him. This is the perfect fight for me because I'm gonna show you what I do with guys exactly like Danny Du Bois. He's gonna keep coming, he's gonna nonstop keep coming, and I'm just gonna keep feeding him, feeding him, feeding him until he gets full, and I'm gonna take him out. Plain and simple. So I have no shred of fear whatsoever that this man is going to run over me. I know what he, I know how he fights. I see what he does. You know what I mean, but this is a professional. I take my time and I beat a guy down. And when I feel like I'm ready to take him out, then I take him out, man. So there's no no inch of I'm scared or no inch of over over being um confident. I know I'm I know in my own abilities what I can do as a heavyweight. And I've been doing this for almost shit 21 years. I've been boxing since I was 11 years old. Du Bois is new to this sport. You know what I'm saying? He hasn't had the experience to fight against a heavyweight like me. I'm gonna show you guys a lot of different things. And I'm tr- trust me, I'm gonna gain a lot of different fans after this from the UK. And they're gonna say Trevor Bryant is the dream. He's the truth. And let's watch out for this guy because I think he's gonna be around for a long time. Why do you think the the bookmakers have him as such a significant favorite heading into this fight? I was looking at the odds earlier, and it looks like in order to to get ten pounds, my currency, I would have to wager a hundred pounds on Daniel Dubois just to win ten pounds. Whereas with you at the moment, from the odds that I saw, if I was to put ten pounds on you, I could get sixty pounds. Mm, I hear you. Yeah, like I said, just put your money on the fight. Whatever how you you want to win some money, put your money on the fight. And put it on the champ, because at the end of the day, um, I don't listen at odds. Um, Dane Du Bois does have Frank Warren, and I do have Don King, but he, I guess, he has been getting more publicity over there. And don't get me wrong, I love the UK fans because you guys are die hard boxing fans. If it's not boxing, it's soccer, football, whatever you want to call it. But you guys are die hard, and I love you guys for that. And that's why this is my big opportunity for me to gain some real strong UK fans, because I know with you guys, if you believe in somebody, you're going to go hard from no matter what, and y'all can't see no wrong. So even going into this fight as the underdog and I'm still the champion, it's perfectly fine because this is where I am now, and this is what I'm supposed to prove to you guys why you're supposed to be following the champion. Well, for those that are following the champion across social media, they'd they'd have noticed you've been very vocal around this fight. There's been several posts. um, Some of them are speaking to Daniel Dubois' trainer, Shane McGuigan. He said they were perhaps a little distasteful. You put up a picture of Daniel's sister uh, and you said something about this is this is you without makeup. You've been goading him. You've been saying, oh, I smell pussy. There's 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 been all sorts of stuff going on there. Are you what? what's the thinking behind that? Are you looking to get a rise out of him? Hey, listen, man, this is box, man. We, we show borders. We talk shit. We, this is what we do. This is our sport. This is part of the sport. If you can't be part of this part. Listen, and first of all, I've never even talked like this all the way up to my career. You understand what I'm saying? This is the first time this ever even came out of me. So this is a totally different Trevor that you're looking at. So either you guys respect me for who I am or make me an event. But at the end of the day, as long as you guys keep coming to see me, if you want to see me win or if you want to see me lose, come and see me. And I'm going to show you the reason why I do what I do and I talk how the way I talk. Do you think you'll have any effect on Daniel Dubois with with some of this this goading across social media, some of the things that have been said? It doesn't matter to me if I have any effect or not. I'm going to talk my shit, baby. I'm from New York. I'm from New York City. This is what we do. We talk stuff and I back it up. You understand what I'm saying? So, hey, it is what it is. I mean, no love lost. I still love the little homie. We're going to do the thing on June 11th. This is what we do to feed our families. And, hey, best man win. Let's go, Chin. Tell me about Larry Holmes. He's He's been in your camp. He's been speaking very highly of you. He, he, yeah, he seems to be backing you. I saw the video you guys had together. There was articles that went out there. Uh, what did you gain from being around Larry Holmes? 
it's great just to have my idol, like I said, in my boxing camp. This is the reason why I want to be a heavyweight champion and, and, and still um, further my own legacy in itself because of guys like him. And just to have him in my camp, giving me pointers, showing me different stuff, man, it's great. But at the end of the day, this is my career. This is my legacy. He's only could show me and he can only show me and tell me a couple of things, but it's all up to me to do what I have to do and build my own legacy. So like I said, shout out to Larry Holmes, because like I said, that's my idol. I know it's been a dream come, come true just to even have him in the ring and in the gym and watch me doing what I do. But this is Trevor the Dream Brian, and I'm building my legacy off of this right here. So, like I said, shout out to Larry Holmes. Can you tell us anything that Larry Holmes said to you? Obviously, that's that's a fountain of knowledge. He's one of the best like ever. Said, like I said, all the man really been doing man is watching me and being very impressed. Like, wow. This 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 guy, I can see some. I just want to see him fight. And like I said, man, I'm not going to talk much about Larry Holmes because Larry Holmes had his career. This is Trevor Bryan Dream right here, and this is my career, and this is where I start my legacy right here with this fight. This is very much your career. Tell me, um, tell me where you see yourself in the heavyweight mix. Where, where does where does Trevor Bryan fit in? Well, right now, like you said, um, they, they consider me as the underdog. I am the champion, but they consider me as an underdog. It's okay. I've been an underdog all my life. I had the car stacked against me all my life, baby. I got to keep proving people wrong and keep showing people why I'm the reason why I'm in the position I'm in because how the way I how the way I work. And from here on out, I want to do, like I said, I want to I want to start my own legacy. I want to be here for a long time in this same position right here as the heavyweight champion of the world. And I would like to get the rest of the belts. I want to get started with the Super WBA, the IBF, the WBC, and the WBO. And I want to be that man of the world so nobody can say Trevor Bryant didn't do this, Trevor Bryant didn't do that. That's what I want. Well, if you're successful against Daniel Dubois, you know, you're, you've, you're in that position and they may well order you to fight the winner of Anthony Joshua against Alexander Usyk before long, providing Tyson Fury stays retired the, the, and that fight doesn't happen. Um, how do you match up against the likes of Alexander Usyk, Anthony Joshua, Tyson Fury? How do you think you do against those guys? These are dream fights you're talking about. And like I said... Me coming from June 11th, I'm going to build on that to work on to those dream fights. And when we get there, baby, that's what we're going to talk about that, champ. But make sure y'all stay tuned, follow the dream, and I'm here because I'm here to stay. Well, let me just get your thoughts on a couple of things just uh, away from yourself. Obviously, this is a glowing division. You haven't done many interviews, so I'm keen to hear some of your thoughts on, on, on the Usyk uh, against Joshua rematch. How do you see that going? How does that one play out? Um, man, uh, all right. Now you pick my brain about that. <laughs> you say Anthony Joshua part two. Um, Anthony Joshua kind of disappointed us that last fight. I mean, we well, we always thought that a good big man would beat us, a small good man. You know what I'm saying? But um, that wasn't the case that fight. Um, the smaller good man got the best of the big, the big man, the good big man, and um. What what I want to see with Anthony Joshua, because I, I like I like his story. I like his story to see if he can get the belts back again for the second time. Um, I, I want to see him work and go out on the shield if need be. You know what I'm saying? Like again, this guy is a smaller guy. He he pitch he pitches around, throw a lot of punches, move around a lot. But I think Anthony Joshua got him to get the belts back, man. So I, I'm really I'm really rooting for him because for the simple fact that I really would would want to fight. AJ, you know what I'm saying, over Usyk. I mean, Usyk just came up from the cruiserweight and all that stuff, but my eye always has been on AJ because he was one of the best in the world at the time, and I just want to see my skills against that man to say that he's the best in the world, but I'm I'm, I'm rooting for AJ. Um, I hope that he can change what he did wrong from the first fight going into this fight and make it happen because I would like to see him a champion again. No no disrespect to um, Usyk as well. No, no disrespect to Usyk at all. I mean, but um, I, I, did, I personally just want to see AJ win. I hear you. I hear you, Trevor. Well, what about Tyson Fury? We've just seen him 94,000 oh. people at Wembley Stadium. D did you tune in and, and what did you think? Oh, the gypsy king does it again. Hey, man, um, shout out to um, Tyson Fury, man. Tyson Fury is a funny guy. He's a cool guy. For, I met him a couple of times. And um, <laughs> what can you say about the gypsy king, man? He did everything, man. He, he hit rock bottom, came back, got all the belts again. He beat Klitschko when people thought he couldn't beat Klitschko. 
And Tyson Fury is just Tyson Fury. He's going to go down as one of the greats. I'm not going to lie. There was three fights where Deontay Wilder showed a lot between um, Tyson Fury and all the skills he got. And like I said, man, you guys don't get it twisted because a big guy doesn't look like Anthony Joshua or Danny the Boyce and have all those big old muscles. Because that, listen, in boxing, all that muscle shit don't count, bro. And, and well, you know what counts? From fist to face ratio and your body ratio, you know what I'm saying? And how the way you move your body around that ring and get away from punches and get out of the way of punches. And also coming back with punches of your own. And Tyson Fury shows that, man. He shows that he has it all. And I think the best thing he did was what we went with well, Sugar Hill, right? Sugar Hill yeah. from Detroit. Come yeah. on, man. Like, and where my where my coach is from? My coach is from Detroit. So it's 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 a boxing science that comes from that that area of how you guys move from punches, throw punches off and catch punches and come back. Like it's a whole different type of science in that sweet science itself. You know what I'm saying? And I got one of the last of Mohegans. And like I said, shout out to Tyson Fury for doing what he did against Dylan White. But he's a great fighter, and I'm, wherever he got this in store in his career, if he's going to come back or not, I don't know. But, man, shout out to that man. He's a great man. And like I said, you guys are going to see something different June 11th as well. So tune out for that, man, for real. Well, before I I'll bring it back to you, Trevor, I just want to get your thoughts on um, – it sounds like Deontay Wilder is going to continue his career. He, he had a statue unveiled recently, and he told everyone his journey is not over, um, and he's back. Is that good news for boxing, Trevor? Um, definitely. Deontay Wilder's not done yet, man. He's also a good friend from the amateurs as well. Um, shout out to that man, Deontay Wilder. Um, no, he's not done whatsoever. I mean, he got his losses. He licked his wounds up. He's ready to come back. Chip is going to be back in a second. He's going to get back at it. So I believe who's who, who they got lined up with is uh, or uh, not Ortiz, um, Ruiz, right? Could be Ruiz, yeah. Ruiz. Let's talk about yeah. That's what they're talking about. Well, man, like I said, I hope to see the champ back in the ring soon. What's it like working with Don King? I mean, this this, this man has been around for for nearly you know, a thousand years. This man just keeps keeps going. He's been involved in so many big heavyweights. <laughs> Muhammad Ali, uh-huh. Mike Tyson, and now he's promoting Trevor Bryan. What's it like being a part of that? Well, it's great just to be part of that, um, under that ban of only in America, Don King heavyweights. And it feels wonderful and it feels great. Like I said, it's another dream come true in itself just to say, hey, Trevor Bryan from Smallbany, Albany, New York, became a heavyweight champion of the world, and he was under Don King. So shout out to Don King. It feels great to be with a boxing historian. Um, like I said, I'm here to make my own legacy under this man, Banner, and I'm happy that this man is in my corner. He's been doing everything great for me. He's been stand up to me. I mean, like I said, shout out to Don King giving me this opportunity as well as um, the boys team as well, giving me this opportunity. I mean, to showcase my skills and defend my title again. But like I said, big up to Don King and shout out to the Don King Baron, only in America. <laughs> only in America. And it's happening June 11th in Miami, Florida. I need three more things from you. Firstly, give me your message to UK fans. What have you got to tell them? UK fans, this is Trevor the Dream. Brian, make sure you guys follow the guy on IG at Trevor Brian Jr. Listen, there's a lot coming from the dream. I know you guys don't know me yet. I know I talked a little shit and got you guys all riled up, but hey, this is all fun and the good into the sport. I know you UK fans love fighters and love fighting. So right now, you're going to see a great fight June 11th. And make sure you follow the dream because I know you got me as the underdog, but I'm the champion. But best believe, follow me. I'm here to stay for a long time. And I'm sorry what I'm going to do to your boy, Du Bois, on the June 11th. But listen, yeah, it's a true champion right here. Just make sure you follow me. I got you guys shout out to you guys as well and what's your message trevor to daniel dubois himself who will be shown this interview he will see this what have you got to say to daniel hey just make sure you're ready for 12 rounds baby because it ain't gonna be an easy night i'm gonna be here bring that pressure to you son and like i said you asked for it now you got it let's go champ and finally tell us all Trevor, what is your prediction for fight night? Is it is it going to be a Trevor Bryan knockout? Are you going to drag Daniel Dubois into deep waters? Are you going to get the job done early? What's going to happen in there? How are you envisaging this? Listen, brother, this is going to be an old-time pub fight. We're going to listen. Until the doctor say, nah, no more, can stop. That's it. Unless somebody get knocked out, that's it. 
This is going to be a fight. I hope the voice is ready because, baby, my mind, my body, my soul is ready for this. I've been waiting for this all my life, and I'm so happy that you're my opponent because I'm going to show the world and show the dream. The dream is going to show y'all what I do, man. So I'm so happy, and I'm ready to go. Ain't no prediction, man. I'm going to show this boy that, hey, he picked the wrong one, but he asked for it, so now he got it. Let's go, Chan. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much, Trevor. Unless there's anything you want to add, it's been a pleasure speaking to you. It's the evening here. Um, and, and yeah, look, we're looking forward to seeing The Dream on BT Sport on June the 11th. Shout out to BT Sports. And again, this is Trevor The Dream Brian. You can follow me on Instagram, Trevor Brian Jr. Follow me on Facebook, Trevor Brian Jr. Snapchat, Trevor Brian Jr. Twitter, Trevor Brian Jr. Listen, I love you, UK fans. I know you might not love me yet, but I'm going to show you why you're going to love me June 11th, man. Shout out to this kid. Let's go, champ.